through our reasoning. What do you find most unusual about this case? Have you got your thoughts in order? Yes. The answer must be somewhere within our hypothesis thus far. Ginsaku? isn't the killer. Nor was he the person disguised as a mummy. <laughs> How can you be so sure? But no one else had the time to dress up like that. The reason Ginsaku isn't the killer is... Ginsaku isn't the killer, because the mummy had the key to the storeroom. After discovering Setsu's body, we found the mummy at the end of the corridor. And it was holding the key. What do you mean? Think about it. Above all else, Ginsaku didn't want it known that he had lent Setsu the key. No one can know. If Ginsaku was the killer, the he would never have put the key in the mummy's hand. He would have kept it immediately. Otherwise, he'd be the first person to come under suspicion for this murder. I see. That's a good point. Give me a break. Ginsaku was not the mummy, so who was it? There's only one person who could have been disguised as the mummy. And that's... There's only one person who could have been the mummy. And that's... You, Kinu. Uh, me? But I was already in the lounge when you ran in after seeing the mummy, remember? Wait, you were? Oh, I must be mistaken then. Oh, oh, oh don't spout such nonsense! <sighs> Sorry. Let's try this again. And that person isn't here now. What do you mean, isn't here? And that person isn't here now. What do you mean, isn't here?
do our reasoning. What do you find most unusual about this case? in order yes the answer must be somewhere within our hypothesis thus far Ginsaku isn't the killer There's only one person who could have been the mummy. And that person isn't here now. What do you mean, isn't here? I'm referring to the victim. And that would be Setsu. <sighs> Nonsense. She was killed before the mummy incident, was she not? When was Setsu killed? And that's the crux of the matter. Setsu was killed after we saw the mummy sometime around noon. Uh, hold on. Didn't we agree that the murder happened before the mummy incident? No. We only established that all of us were free to move about before noon, including Setsu. So, who locked the storeroom door before we saw the mummy? Setsu did, after she put on her disguise. She disguised herself as the mummy and waited outside the storeroom for us. Why would she do such a thing? Setsu went into the storeroom to tamper with everyone else's items, lowering their value or raising the value of her own. She then put on the mummy disguise to make the curse seem credible, thus further increasing the selling price. Buyers love a good backstory, after all. Ginsaku's mummy, Masanori's sword, Josie's dragon's blood. Setsu staged her living corpse performance using everyone else's items. After ditching the mummy disguise, she intended to rejoin us and feign complete ignorance. But then... she was killed. We know that the mummy was Setsu. Setsu was still alive around noon. Which means the murder took place after that. That leaves only one person who could have possibly been the killer. Yes. The person who killed Setsu is...
You're the killer. Ginzaku, without the shadow of a doubt. You said I was innocent just a moment ago. <sighs> Have you already forgotten? Huh? Did I say that really? <sighs> Listen, I've been here with all of you the whole afternoon, which is when the murder took place. What's the matter with you? I can't possibly be the killer! Uh, I guess you're right. Uh, I've... had enough of this. <gasps> Get out, now. <laughs> we'll take care of the rest. I was thrown out of the manor. Wait. And I never managed to reclaim the Tokijiku. our reasoning. What do you find most unusual about this case? Have you got your thoughts in order? Yes. The answer must be somewhere within our hypothesis, thus far. So uh, hold on. Didn't we agree that the murder happened before the mummy incident? About before. The person who killed Setsu is... You, Masanori. Isn't it? Straight after the mummy incident, we all gathered here in the lounge, didn't we? It was time for the auction to start, but there was no sign of Setsu. That's when you went looking for her, didn't you? You're the only person who was alone. You left the lounge, went to the storeroom, and killed Setsu. Then you took the key from her, locked the storeroom, and dumped the mummy at the end of the corridor. Once all that was finished, you returned to the lounge. Am I right? When I went to the storeroom, the door was open. I saw her inside, taking off the mummy disguise. The auction items were all irreparably damaged. So I went up to her and... demanded an explanation. Without answering, she suddenly lunged at me and... In the ensuing struggle. That sword just. What happened after that was just as you said. And you know, I thought 
no one would suspect me if I made use of Setsu's mummy incident. What I said earlier about researching eternal youth, that was a lie. The truth is, someone hired me to search for the Tokijiku. Three days ago, I heard about this gathering from Setsu. I came here today in the hope that someone might bring the Tokijiku. I intended to win the bid, but even if I didn't, I was just going to take it by force after the auction. In some dark alley at night. The Tokijiku is the only item that's still missing. You hid it somewhere, didn't you? That fruit was originally mine. Someone stole it from me. We can assume that Setsu was a thief. Inzaku, you knew about it, didn't you? Please, give it back to me. <sighs> it's not here anymore. Huh? As soon as I got it, I handed it off to my employer's lackey outside the manor. You're lying! Why didn't you run away after that? <laughs> Running away is the same as admitting guilt, is it not? That's why I decided to stay. Still, the plan backfired. Who hired you? There's no reason to hide it anymore. <sighs> I think it was... The Scarlet Camellia. That's what the lackey said. I've never met them myself. I don't even know if that's their real name. <sighs> Officers from the Metropolitan Police arrived a while later and arrested Masanori Minami. family has received the Tokijiku from the Sakakis for generations. And every hundred years, during our cherry blossom ceremony, someone would be chosen to eat the fruit. But the Sakakis were attacked and wiped out by forces who wanted the Tokijiku. My family had but one Tokijiku left. And since the massacre, We've kept it hidden so the world would never know of its existence. That was the fruit my father entrusted me with. Take this and leave this place now. Huh? My father's health was poor, and he often stayed in his room, but he was always kind to me. On that day, however, he sounded so serious, so grave. And I just couldn't defy his orders. My father often said that people weren't meant to live without growing old. I think he decided to turn his back on the Shijima family when he gave me the Tokijiku. That's why I have to get it back from this Scarlet Camellia character. But you still don't know a thing about them. Isn't that dangerous? But... But... I can't give up! <laughs> you certainly are stubborn. <laughs> my father often said the same thing. I got it from my mother, apparently. But... We were separated when I was a baby. So I don't have... 
any memories of her. He only started calling me stubborn after I decided I wanted to be a writer. A writer? Yes. I want someone to read the novels I've written, to meet them, and hear about their impressions about my work. That's my dream. But everyone in my family was against it. They told me I should settle down and get married and raise children because the Shijimas are a family of doctors. Times change. If you're stubborn enough, they'll always find a way. <laughs> That's kind of you to say, Josie. But tell me, why are you after the Tokijiku? It's not something most people know about. As a prisoner of circumstance, I must keep searching for the Scarlet Camellia while guarding this fruit. The Sakaki family you mentioned, they were destroyed by the Scarlet Camellia. Your father was right. You shouldn't get involved. Eternal youth invites death. Ironic, isn't it? As one who doesn't age, I should know. What? Josie! Yoshino! It was my uncle, Eizan Shijima, and his companion, Toako. <sighs> We've been searching everywhere for you. Uh, stop right there. You know I don't like it when you smoke. Ah, uh, that's right. Come, let's go back home. I won't go back. Your father is worried sick. You didn't come for me. You want the Tokijiku, don't you? <laughs> Wait, Yoshino! Josie Kasaka. I didn't have a clue who the real person behind that name was. But returning home was out of the question, and I had no one else to rely on.
ことをたどれば先代もこのしきたりをやめようとしていたと聞く改めて私の代で終わりにすることにした赤椿あなたは本物の西丸誠を生み出した方だ何か思いつくことがあったら教えてくださいあなたが時軸を使えば母さんは救えたかもしれないんだちょうどその頃毒入りジュースなどの事件が立て続けに起こっていますね大変なことになりました私のことは西丸誠とでも呼んでください。